So what we have here is a completed 16 channel Christmas light controller box. It has two separate 8 channel relay boards. I've replaced the uh, black, the little black relays you see right there. Uh, replaced the zero cross relays with the random cross relays, which will allow me to support dimming. Um, I have used, um, I found a place to get some uh, one foot extension cords from. I cut off the male side and I'm using the female end for my receptacles to connect to my Christmas lights. Um, I have a little Arduino 2560 <clears throat> that I'm using. It's an Arduino Mega uh, Rev 3 that I'm using to control the relays on this board. Uh, what I plan to do is put an Arduino in each control box and use serial um, use a transmit and receive lines to daisy chain multiple uh, controller boxes to one individual Arduino Mega, uh, kind of like in a master slave uh, master slave scenario there, to where one Arduino is sending out a signal to all the other ones, and they just listen for the signal to turn the lights on and off. Um, I haven't quite tested that yet. That will be the next step in this project, will be to uh, use one Arduino Mega to control multiple um, Arduinos, which would be able to basically tell each channel to turn on and off. That will simplify the use of these controller boxes. All we'll have to run will be just like a, uh, I'll probably end up using like a network cable to jumper from box to box. Uh, with just two wires is all that's needed. So as far as data connection is concerned. So that basically what it's doing right now is it's looping through all 16 channels, turning them, starting from one to, um, starting with one and going up to 16, it's turning them all on and then backing out of it, turning them all off in reverse order. So uh, I have a, I want to say it's a one second delay between each um, turn on, turn off. So it's taking, it's pausing for one second after it turns one on, it pauses before it turns the next one on. So this is what it looks like so far. Um, I've kind of redesigned a few things on the fly as I was putting this together. Uh, as you can see, I'm using some Cat5 cables to connect it over to my Arduino. Uh, it seems to work out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to probably use some sort of prototype board to actually solder these connectors onto the Arduino board. Um, but it's all still this. I'm trying to wrap up this first controller. Once I get this one done, I'll be able to uh, do the other six quite easily, hopefully. So this was kind of my test run here. Uh, validate that I could do it. Maybe uh, ran through a few design changes that I had in mind. Now that I got it all put together and working correctly, then we'll use this as a, as a template to uh, build the other ones. All right. Until next time, remember, when dealing with... Uh, 110 volt electricity. Always be careful and be safe because it can't hurt you. It can even kill you. So be safe. Always be safety or uh, minded when you're working with this kind of stuff. Um, just a side note. Whenever I tested this for the first time, I actually used this GF um, I circuit protector. I found at Lowe's for like 14 bucks. Just an extra stage of, uh, of protection or safety for me. If for some reason something wasn't quite uh, wired right, the idea would be that this thing would actually trip instead of electrocuting me or, or blowing a fuse or a breaker or anything like that. So um, you don't have to do that. Something I did just to kind of protect myself. I also bought those uh, to actually use with my Christmas light display uh, setup because now all my circuits have GFI built in. So I will be running all my boxes behind GFI protection in case it rains or something like that. I uh, wouldn't want nobody to get hurt. All right, until next time, stay safe and check back for more information. Thanks. Bye-bye.